Welcome to Mindly Way, where we explore life philosophies to grow and find the right path. Get ready to listen for an inner journey. God cares about every aspect of our lives. Although most people don't think this, it's true that God loves us more than we can comprehend and is constantly thinking about how best to guide our actions, both big and small. God wants to be involved in our lives, and if we're willing to listen to Him, He will guide us in the right direction. For instance, God values marriage highly and considers it one of the most important aspects of our lives. God also uses marriage to reveal His relationship with the church, which is why He has such high expectations for marriage. Here are some telltale signs that God is guiding you toward your spouse. God speaks to us in a variety of ways and at different times. The more serious the matter, the more He speaks to us about it. How we interpret God speaking to us is largely dependent on our relationship with Him. For example, you will always recognize the voice of a loved one, but you may not be aware that they are speaking to you when you are not familiar with Him. We must acknowledge that even though we may not be certain that God is speaking to us, if we have a close relationship with Him, we can eventually confirm that He is speaking to us. God does this so we won't be confused about who to marry. He'll most likely use the standard normal channel. If God usually speaks to you through dreams, He'll most likely show you through dreams that a certain person is your spouse. Adding to this, He might give you peace about this person. He might also send others to tell you how you and this person would make a great couple. It will seem like everything revolves around this person. We must be eager to take note of every way that God speaks to us. 2. It will feel right. There will be no mistake about your feelings concerning this person. While you may have doubts occasionally since it's a big decision, you'll feel deep down that this person is right for you. You may have had an opportunity to interact with this person on so many levels, and through that experience, realize that you both may work out. You'll feel confident that God has orchestrated everything to bring you together. You'll feel connected to them, and they will feel the same way. For example, when Adam met Eve, he said, This is the bone of my bones and the flesh of my flesh. When he met Eve, he could tell she was right for him. Another example is Isaac Abraham. In Genesis 24, it is mentioned that Isaac's father had both male and female servants and lived in a land that wasn't remote from his family. But Isaac didn't seem to understand that anyone nearby was suitable for him. Abraham found a way to get his son Isaac a wife, and as soon as Isaac saw her, he knew she was the one. The Bible says that after losing his mother before, Isaac felt comforted by her presence. True believers can choose to ignore this feeling but most of the time they will know if the person is right for them. 3. You will notice that marriage does not diminish our relationship with God. Rather, marriage defines our relationship with God. Many people make bad decisions when choosing spouses. They reject the person God wants them to be with and continue to be with people they shouldn't be with. When this happens, their relationship with God starts to deteriorate. One of the first things God emphasizes is that the person He wants you to be with is a believer who is sincere and purposeful about Him. God will never allow us to be yoked with unbelievers because He already knows that their wicked ways will turn our hearts away from Him. Therefore, one of the things God will show us is that this person is very committed to Him and strengthens our relationship with Him. This person will not encourage you to sin or disobey God in any way. This person will be more than willing to honor God in the relationship and put in place systems and structures that will keep you from disobeying God together. When your relationship doesn't distract you but rather helps you grow in God, it's a sign that God is revealing to you who your spouse is. We should always remember that our relationship with God comes first. The key to eternal life is not the quality of our marriages, but rather the quality of our relationship with God. You'll realize that, contrary to popular belief, God prepares us before He uses us. You're ready for your spouse. Because they don't value God's method of doing things, most people are unaware of this. God doesn't do things the same old way. God is a God of order and morality. But sadly, people constantly attempt to twist God's commands to suit their criminal behavior and avaricious inclinations. This unfortunately occasionally affects the church. 
The fact that God decided it wasn't good for Adam to be alone rather than Adam wishing for a companion means that Adam didn't know he was alone until Eve arrived. This allowed Adam to recognize what was lacking and prepare for Eve's arrival. The same is true for the rest of us. Being idle, refusing to be productive, or refusing to walk with God in certain areas of our lives is bad for us. God teaches us in this way so that you can recognize them when they come because He wants us to be good enough for the person He wants us to be with. All activities have an entry level, and marriage is no different. We can only see what God is showing us when we have a relationship with Him and when we care enough to know what He has to say to us. If we truly want to see what God is showing us about our spouse, we should think about doing these three things. After all, none of us is perfect, but we do have partners who can complement us. So God will frequently train us to continue with marriage relationships when we meet the one He has for us. The first is having a sincere desire to please God. Without this, we cannot see God show us our spouse. Sometimes, we can be disappointed in God's ways because we cannot see the outcome. But when we have this desire, we will seek to obey God despite our own dispositions. This is much easier for us once we have reached this state of surrendered heart. The second is praying. Without communication, we are unable to see what God is showing us, so we must ask Him what He is showing. We must beg Him to open our eyes to see more clearly. The third is studying God's Word which is the main and most effective way for us to see what He is showing us. God has chosen to communicate with us in these last days through His Word. If we don't open God's Word, it indicates that we're not ready to see what He is trying to show us. We can choose to walk with God, which is predicated on following the guidance He provides. I hope you found this video enjoyable. Thank you, and may God continue to bless you.